Great. My name is Jacqueline West, and I have lived in Toronto for five years. And I love this city. I love biking in this city, and I love the communities that I've come to be a part of in this city. I am inspired by the vibrancy and the multiculturalism, and above all, the kindness of this city. My day-to-day -day stretches across the world of photography, production, and community projects. I look for ways for good work to find audience. I am motivated and have made a career of finding and creating unique opportunities to bridge art, commerce, and philanthropy. I am the director of a creative agency that specializes in photography, motion, exhibition, and community programming. We work with brands, we work with artists, and we work with philanthropic organizations we believe in to help to take pictures, to raise awareness, to do good work, and enable them to make money. Our engine to do this is called Herman and Audrey. We are photographers and strategists, and we wear about 10 other hats on top of that. It brings together talented people in collaboration, not in competition, to work together, to support one another, and to create opportunity for good work to find audience. We create photography, we use our art to encourage authentic brand engagement and platforms for fundraising development. One thing I'd like you to know about me is that I believe Toronto to have exceptional talent across arts and cre creative disciplines. I see daily that there is an unrealized potential to develop a stronger, more inclusive arts and cultural identity and evolve past needing external validation. I'd like it to be our legacy as creatives of today to come together out of silos to collectively shape a more confident, vibrant scene that is uniquely our own, that supports local talent and pushes forward the status quo. I don't think we've started to understand the long-term implications of the fact that more and more of extremely talented 20 and 30-something year old creatives, artists, and innovators are leaving town to find opportunities elsewhere. Do you know amazing talent that have left our city because they felt like they got little love, made little money, and that other places were doing it better? Do we know creatives that have felt they needed to leave in order to gain credibility within our city? I have. And while our city has great institutions, good programs, and incubators, there is a, a, growing, talent, a growing pool of talented young creatives from different disciplines, from art, filmmaking, fashion design, who compete for very limited opportunity. Our city is great at fostering talent, training them, incubating them, and yet we do not have a platform for collaboration, a rock-solid sense of pride, and there is limited opportunity within these highly specialized fields that we develop. When looking at Toronto, we must recognize our barriers and work around them. Foremost, we have a smaller population, therefore our market is smaller and there are fewer opportunities to go around. Second, we compare ourselves to markets that allocate way more funding, have stronger public support, and have, are hundreds of years ahead of us in nurturing a vibrant arts and cultural identity. And Toronto's creatives are globally curious and will inherently look for opportunities outside of our walls. So what can we do? How do we create an inclusive and innovative, how can, sorry, how can we be inclusive and innovative to define our own identity and further our pride without compar comparing ourselves or needing validation? How do we create an, an identity that we believe in, feel a part of, and create opportunities that we will take part in so we are compelled to stay and to come back? As an example, the independent music scene in Toronto has seen great maturity over the last 10 years. And as co-founder of Arts and Crafts has said to me, is that he really embraces Toronto's ability to support their own within this genre and to realize a confidence that we no longer need validation. He sees Toronto as being at a special size. It's large enough for critical mass, but small enough that silos aren't deeply entrenched. So what defines Toronto as unique from an arts and culture perspective? What can we do to create an inclusive, to define this in an inclusive way across disciplines and silos? And how do we get buy-in to encourage pride and support? Toronto presents some great festivals, events, and incubators. 
Yet I am compelled to ask, would we accept a brand titled Art Basel or a Coca-Cola Olympics? Why are we not more protective that our talent stands forefront rather than allowing the stark commercialization of these showcases? I wonder, is our pride and confidence in Toronto's artistic and cultural talent impacted by enabling sponsors to show among designers within Fashion Week or allowing a commercial brand creative direction? Oh, <laughs> yes. So we need an injection of local support and energy. We must so stop comparing ourselves to other places. We are Toronto, we are rich with talent, and it is our challenge to encourage and create mechanisms to develop a unique, stronger, and more collaborative arts and cultural space. Hockey, we are the best at hockey. We don't look externally for validation in hockey, we look from within for the next talent. So imagine a future across arts and culture that we care as much about developing it as we did about developing hockey. Confidence, support, identity, and unity. How can we get there? Who should I, oh my God. <laughs> Who should I be talking to? We should take pride in the vast talent the city has to offer. If you have any ideas, <laughs> please email me. Yeah, so we do have...